Who are you? I'm uh, Francesco Veenschen, pronounced in Dutch. Um, uh, Francesco is the, uh, the Italian uh, name. Uh, I'm one of the partners of uh, Meccano Architects. In total we have um, six partners um, at the moment, of which uh, five are lead architects on uh, several projects, uh, I would say, throughout the world. Um, I'm 40 years old, uh, working already for almost 19 years within uh, the company, so I started my career within Meccano and uh, since 2007 I'm one of the, uh, the partners, the owners of, uh, of the company. Francine Huppen has described Meccano's ethos as about composition, contrast and complexity. What does this mean in terms of your approach to design? In general, um, the way we develop the, the, the design method within the office is something uh, which we all do together. And um, which of course is a, it's a very strong basis uh, in, in the year when it originally was uh, founded uh, in uh, 1984. So next year the, uh, the company exists uh, 30 years, which we will uh, celebrate of course. And um, the, the, let's say our design approach, our design philosophy uh, started with the idea of actually being able to also design something nice in a period where uh, all cities, especially in Holland, were um, under development and, and being tortured by architects uh, um, with very, um, uh, let's say, low budget um, housing projects which um, have started dominating all the, the inner cities of, uh, of Holland. And uh, early the, in the early 80s, um, uh, Meccano came up with the approach of not only, uh, let's say, rebuilding the inner cities, uh, but also to do it in a very nice way, uh, also in a very human way. So that's something which has evolved over the years. But it, I think it's very much about the fact that, it, that architecture is not only uh, about uh, creating something very theoretical or trying to um, design architectural um, uh, purity. It's, uh, in our opinion, very much about uh, the use of, of a building, the use of space, and trying to be very contextual, trying to pick up all the essential elements from, from an area, from, a, from the surroundings where a building finally will will be uh, built and it should become fruitful for uh, its society. How contextual are Meccano's buildings? Um, well, to our own opinion, uh, they are very contextual. Um, not only in shape, or um, not always in shape, but always in, in the way uh, buildings will be used by, um, by users, by visitors, by um, owners. Um, so we have a very strong focus on designing for people. The practice has a history of large public buildings like Home in Manchester and Birmingham Public Library. Is this a difficult typology to design for? Um, I would say it's not, and especially because of the fact that you always uh, deal with the end users in these kind of projects and uh, that also makes it very interesting and very um, um, energetic, I would say. Um, to work on these kind of projects. Uh, for instance, the, the Library of Birmingham, we work together with tens of people from the client side to make the building uh, in such a way that it also will um, um, satisfy the needs of the citizens of, of the city of Birmingham. Uh, so we got a lot of um, um, influence, a lot of um, inside information from the client uh, in order to then being able to uh, design a building for the city. The practice is very international. Is there a difference, would you say, in designing a public building in the UK as there is to designing in Holland, for example? Um, I would say no. Uh, again, just because of the fact that you always uh, have to deal with, with the people using, uh, using a building. Uh, not only using a building, also using the public realm. And um, at the moment we are um, working on a project which is on the construction in Taiwan. Um, it's a huge um, a cultural facility as well. Uh, it's about 20 times bigger than, than home here in, in Manchester. Um, and it still, again, facilitates the needs of the people over there. And it also responds, let's say, to the 
um, uh, to the environmental conditions of, of the place. And that's something we always uh, have a very strong focus on during the design process. Something else which your practice states is part of their core ideals is the idea that sustainability is social responsibility. Sustainability is a very loaded word. Yes. What does it mean to you? Already, I think for 10 or 15 years, sustainability is very much connected, of course, to the use of energy. And um, um, I think it, it still does. Uh, many architects come up with a solution where uh, they find they find uh, they use actually architectural uh, tools, architectural ingredients to um, to make a design sustainable, uh, and where also sustainability really becomes part of, let's say, the identity and the look and feel of of a, of a building. Um, I would say that that's something we don't um, that that that's like a methodology we don't follow. We really try to come up with a very integrated solution where. Um, uh, architecture, um, uh, uh, comfort, um, uh, mechanical and e electrical um, uh, installations inside a, a building are all uh, brought together into one, let's say, very sustainable model, very sort of integrated uh, design philosophy. Um, I think that's one part. The other part is that um, we uh, definitely b believe in the fact that Sustainability is also about uh, embracing a project uh, eventually by the people who, uh, who will use it. Um, so it does not only, only start with energy models or with uh, the orientation a building has um, in terms of uh, preventing daylight or too much daylight and energy coming in, but also trying to create buildings uh, which finally people will love to go to and which uh, gives, uh, which make uh, the existence of it uh, uh, worth. Where do you see architecture in 20 years time? Um, I think that uh, the uh, construction process is uh, slowly evol evolving. And so uh, we, we don't deal with the, with the, the fastness you for instance, find in automotive industry or uh, in, in, um, in the mobile industry, it takes a, a lot more time to um, to develop the architectural product uh, of the building itself uh, into a direction where a lot of innovative elements uh, will be um, uh, included. Um, uh, so I think that 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 architecture will not be uh, so far away from where we are today. It still will be um, about uh, designing for a very specific purpose. Uh, I think it will definitely move away, and it already did, from um, uh, large uh, developments uh, by uh, um, huge developers all around the world. Of course, there are still areas in, in the world where this uh, uh, is taking place at the moment. But um, I think people will start um, think about how to deal with those kind of uh, developments and which definitely relate also to the kind of, uh, economic climate. What advice would you give architecture students studying now? I think that's a very good question. Um, I think it's a question an architect should always ask uh, himself um, um, or actually a student should, uh, should ask himself. I think the an architect always has the ability against all other, let's say, consultants to um, think very broad. Um, so we always sort of, as you could say, overarch the whole process of developing or designing a product, which could be a building, which could be, um, which could be interior design, which could be a, a landscape, or which could even be an organization, for instance. And I think uh, that way of thinking and also always trying to search for other solutions and, and try to be creative is, is something which, um, uh, which uh, makes us all different from all the others. Uh, because everybody is different and um, everybody has different skills. And the way we see it within our practice is that having in total over 120 people at the moment from uh, one or 
20 countries means that we have a lot of different cultures. And by bringing these cultures together and also trying to clash these uh, cultures, it gives new energy for, uh, for new projects and new development. Thank you very much.